Hello guys, this is the Purple Fish here, and today I'm just going to show you a, a Black Friday haul. I'm, I want to go super fast, um, just because um, my internet's pretty slow, and I'd like to upload my videos faster. So, um, first up, we got our Walmart haul. So, first up, we got this Porsche 911 GT4 RS. So, all the Porsche 911 enthusiasts, they'll like it, that's for sure. This is a wide body kit. That's very nice. It's always nice wide body kits. 96 Nissan 180SX Type X is the black variant. Never got it until now. And Lamborghini Huracan LP620 2 Super Trofeo. Circuit car is pretty cool. Now we got a 2001 custom Acura Integra GSR. The T Tain series. I mean, the T Tain paint job. Then we got the Corvette C7R. That oh, was pretty old, but yeah. And then let me just tell you a little quick story of how Warren employees can be a knob. There's only one one old lady that picks up all the good hollows. Look, as you can see, I have the whole series, but one car is missing. The Datsun Bluebird. Okay, she was restocking under my eyes, and I saw under that box. There was only Datsun Bluebirds left. You know, that's pretty evil. Like, if someone wants to get the whole set, like me, I'll have to go visit a different source to get Datsun. I mean, that's just, that's just, that's just plain evil. And since I don't have a car, I can't drive, I can't go to any different Walmarts. So yeah, that's the whole series. You probably already know the whole series, so I'm just going to give you a quick look. I really like this Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, though. This is the Jetsons capsule car, my first sample of it. Why did I bought it? I don't know. Then there's this Chrysler 300C from Rainbow Reels. I really like the Bling series. Then we got a treasure hunt. I dug really deep in that um, bin. We got found this treasure hunt. Metal Metal Fangula. Pretty okay. Then I got this minecart right here. Age of the Screen Time. Right now I put a Lego Free Figure. So like take it off. So yeah, it's just a, a plain car. Wait, I actually bought that Toys R Us. But you know what's so evil about Mattel? Is that they put, like, you know the series of Minecraft? They put some different card arts and then they sell it. But, like, they don't sell it at a regular price for a live. They sell, they sell them for $2. That's twice the price almost. And that's just sad. Because it's the same car, but more expensive. And then Walmart somehow had these 2005 Hot Wheels. So, um... I did not pick them all because they, they had a lot of bikes and uh, if you know me, I'm not a bike collector. I really just like cars. Um, if I however I buy, a, I buy a bike because, well, I don't know, don't ask me. This is the Airy 8 part of your realistic series. I mean, clearly that's not realistic. I think. Then there's this Rebel Rides. W Ozzy, this is a cruise bike, pretty cool. I always like the cruise series, that's why I got that one. Then there's this Thomas uh, Thomas Up Free, the final run series. So um, this is sad to see this casting go. I really like this casting, and uh, yeah, this is the first time I actually realized what his name is. Black with flames, free in '90s design, like that. Then we got this Tarmac Tech. Um, this is the Tune series. Um, this one I like it, but not like a lot. But I just plan to have to have all the tune series. That's why I bought it. It's just it's like another step to becoming a real collector. So this is Steel Flame. I don't know if that's the actual name. Yeah, it's Steel Flame, and um, it's not written in the series. Maybe it's that's an error. That's probably an error though. A card error. A very rare one or something like that. This is the Poison Arrow, 2005 first edition. It's pretty cool. Green. That's about it. Next up, we got Pocket Bikes, sir. I haven't seen this casting very often. Back in there again, 2005 first edition. 8 out of 20. And then finally, we got the final run, Shredator. It's green. Of course, of course I had to pick it up. Green is my favorite color. Then we got this tuned 68 Mustang. But you know what's very sad about this? It's train engine got got shrinked. Um, I will notice for further casting change while I make my review on this car. Um, the back I can already notice it's different. 
and uh, yeah, plenty of stuff for different those newly remade tune cars. Then this is the custom 2001 Acura Integra GSR. I got one for opening, one in card. Then I got this very nice 2015 Dodge Challenger. It's really nice, and yeah, that's why I bought it because it's nice. Makes sense. Then is this Hover Storm. It's pretty nice. I like the white, the black, and the red. They really make a flashy contrast. Then we got this Doubles. Oh, and recently these cars I just showed you all from Toys R Us. So this is the 2015 Ford Mustang GT, and this is the GT convertible variant. So yeah, I found it. That's pretty cool. This is a, this is a convertible and a uh, non-convertible. It's like a duo. Then we got the Aristo Rat. I like the car, but I mainly bought it for its um, feature right here. I saw it in the Hot Wheels video featuring its designer himself, saying that this part right here can flip up and down for a track. Then we got the Zotic. I really like the art. It looks great. Neat. I like it. Yeah. Then we got this Fast and Furious Dodge Charger right here. Xperi Motors. I found it laying on the floor. And then we got these two um, capsule machine cars. I got Nitro Door Slimer and its second second bone shaker. It's really sad to have a second one, but that's what happens when you buy too much of the same set of the capsule. Then finally, basically the only deal on the Hot Wheels that I got for Black Friday um, sales was these two five packs. Um, they had a sale, two five packs for ten dollars. Might seem like nothing in the U.S., but for here, it's usually eight ninety nine for one five pack at Toys R Us. So uh, yeah, and Walmart doesn't have many five packs. So yeah, I got this Nightburners five packs, pretty cool. Now you might recognize scalpers scalping this car right here. And it really made sense. When I was Toys R Us, this 5-pack was hidden in the burden of Hot Wheels. It's probably because somebody was hiding it. So, um, this is the Chrysler 300, Nissan GTR, Pony Up, um, Audacious, and the, um, Volkswagen Beetle rally car, I think. Then, the HW Exotics. Now, here I got a little story about it that I very don't know, don't like. So, I saw two packs of the same HW Exotics, but this one right here, the Viper, it was swamped with a 911 portion white. But as you can see, but, um, it was not open before, so that's when I knew it was the manufacturer that did this. Mattel just swamped one car with another for a 5-pack, so that means... Collecting all the cards would be even harder and more than possible. Meaning that if you want to get them all, you gotta pay for more five packs and have extra cars. That's just plain evil, honestly. So we got a Porsche Panamera, a uh, sweet green Alfa Romeo 8C, Pagani Huayra, a Dodge Viper, and a uh, Lamborghini. So uh, that's ready for my purchases. I also bought Forza Horizon 3 and Trackmania Turbo. Forza Horizon 3, that was a uh, Black Friday sale, yes, but it's not Hot Wheels. And uh, I have the copy, but it's like downstairs. So I'll just tell you, I got I got it for 50 bucks instead of 80 bucks. I got Trackmania for um, 22 bucks and 50 cents. It was a no sa no tax sale. So uh, yeah. That's about it for my Black Friday haul. There's really basically no deals. There's just me buying a Hot Wheels car like normally. And yeah, that's about it for this video. So until next time, this is the Purple Fish out.